Hey everybody, it's Dalton. I uh, ran into a pretty good jig bite. I'm just right across from the, the dock. And uh, what happened, I got out here this morning. There was uh, quite a bit of fog, so I just came out to this little flat. I noticed out about 15, 20, 25 feet, there were some fish down there. I ran into a good jig bite today. And uh, here in a little bit, I'll show you how I work the jig. But it, it was cool. Let me just show you real quick how I rig this thing up. Uh, this is a Zoom Speed Craw. That's what I like to use. And what I do is I take these little, forgive my hands for shaking, I'm all excited today. I love it when a jig bite works. It just gets me all excited. But I take these little appendages off the side. I don't need them. And I have pretty much pre-measured uh, where I need to cut this bait in order for it to, to fit on my jig. So what I do is I go to about the second ring, just cut that off. I put together this little jig actually yesterday. It's just green pumpkin, that's all it is. This is a 3 8 ounce little ball head jig made by Boss Jigs. I get them at Tackle Warehouse. Let's put my own skirts on. Before I do that though, I wanna show you something real important. And this has worked out extremely well. Cause these bass out here will key in on that chartreuse color. So what I'm gonna do, and I really don't care if I get this stuff on me, I'll just wash myself off later. I just put it on my leg and I just really, really color the, uh, the little ends of this real quick. Super easy to do. But to me, it makes a huge difference. It really does because this speed craw is really flappy. So when this thing falls in the water, it, it, it really has some good movement. And that's my trailer of choice today. Again, I just take my jig. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm pretty excited. I need to get this jig back out there. Got some other ideas today as well, but um, been getting some good bites. I missed some of them too. My fault, but I did. I wasn't paying attention. So I just simply string this thing or run this thing on, push it all the way up. And that's perfect right there. I've got my my uh, my trailer on there, green pumpkin, about as simple as color as you can go. I mean, green pumpkin is a great color out here. We, you know, people use it all the time. And that's how I set it up right there. 15 pound test, Seaguar and Visix fluorocarbon, because when I get that little thump on that jig, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them hard with a hook set because I want that hook in there. Uh, and, and earlier I was missing a couple of them because I did not set the hook as good as I should have. So I'm gonna fish around for a bit. Here in a little bit, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I fish a jig, what I'm looking for. And um, man, I, I hope it works out uh, all the way through the winter. Nothing like a jig bite in the mornings. Got me a, oops, my goodness, he's. He's a slippery one, it's foggy out here and <laughs> this guy is one active dude right here. Beautiful fish. I caught him just kind of slowly Rolling this jig I put together along. I'll take a jig bite all day long. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you uh, how I work this jig. Before I do that, just a quick conditions report. Lake looks good. It's down to around, uh, I didn't check this morning. Yesterday it was 68%. They are drawing some water out. Rumor is we might get a lot of rain uh, coming up this year. I'm not sure, but uh, we can use it. Um, the way I, I throw this jig, oh, by the way, sorry about that, but the water temperature out here currently, as of right now, is 75 degrees. So it's cooled up a little bit, 
but not a whole lot. You're, you're starting to feel fall in the air right now. It's, uh, it's definitely shifting out here. So let's talk about the jig. I like a medium heavy rod. Uh, this is a seven foot one Okuma EVX. I like uh, at least a seven five to one gear ratio reel, this loose speed spool. I'm using 15 pound test Seaguar and Vizix. I like a little bit heavier line on a jig uh, because I really, really want to set that hook. So what I'm looking for is stuff like, you know, that's all around me right now. I don't know how well you see it, but there's some flats here and they got a lot of rock, a lot of bushes on there, and that's going to run out into the water. There's going to be some bushes out there. There's going to be some rock and that's, that's kind of stuff I like with a jig. So what I do is I cast this thing out and I'm going to watch my line and wait for it to hit the bottom. And there it is. A little bit shallower right here. Now sometimes I'll take my rod tip and I'll just sort of sweep it like this. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'll just sweep my rod tip. And I'm watching my rod tip the whole time because every once in a while you'll see a little thump or you'll feel it. And right now, to be honest with you, I am just trying to hit something. Whether it be a rock, okay, got a little hung up there. And once it gets hung up on something, I just shake my rod. I shake it through whatever that cover is, and then I'll just go ahead and pop it out. If I don't get a bite, I just continue to drag this jig. And this is pretty much how I like to fish a jig. Now, let me get out there a little bit deeper where I've been catching them. We'll give it a second to go ahead and um, sink down to the bottom. I've been getting them. They've been biting around, I'm going to say, I'm going to say around 20 feet. And that has been kind of the, a good number up to this point. Haven't got much of a bite up here in the shallow part. Now, I'm out there deeper, so now I'm going to start dragging this thing. I'm already in something, some type of cover. So I'm just going to shake it through. I'm kind of old school with a jig. I just believe dragging it. Dragging it, running into something, whether it's a rock or a bush or whatever. And just kind of move it along really slow. This is how I've caught most of my fish on a jig. Bites really slowed down here. These fish are running and gunning. Um, they have been kind of hard to find because you find a group of them, you'll get a few bites, and all of a sudden they're gone. Then you gotta move around, look at your 2D sonar, whatever you have, try to find another group of them, and then fish that group. So that's how I like to fish a jig. Again, it's a, it's a slow drag. This is the perfect conditions for it. It's just dead slick calm. There's a lot of little stuff to get hung up in out here. And, and that's what I want with a jig. I want to get it hung up, shake it out. And a lot of times that's where I'm going to get my bite. Another good place to throw a jig, bluff walls. Uh, this winter, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen out here. If the lake's going to muddy up or, or what it's going to do this year. But if it doesn't get too bad, I really want to throw a jig around those bluff walls in the winter. I've done really well out here with a jig on bluff walls. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, haven't been out here in a while. And uh, sad to say, I haven't been fishing as much this summer as I usually fish. I've been doing a lot of projects at home, getting a lot of things done. But I plan on picking it up, getting out here a little bit more. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the year out here. And um, you know, I love fishing out here, it's a fun lake. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate you all. I'll talk to you next time.